Hey, you're at Steve Tech, and in this episode, we're gonna to talk to you about how to properly read your spark plug. Now, what we wanted to tell you is, I don't care what your O2 says. I don't care what your EGT says. I don't care what your fuel flow sensor says. I don't care what your mom says, your dad says, your daughter says. I don't care what anybody says. What tells you the most amount of information about what's going on with your engine is the spark plug, period. Now, it's a good thing to have O2 sensors. It's a good thing to have as much information as you can, but they're just numbers and they're just reference numbers. The reference numbers uh, that are helping you tune, uh, but the be all and end all is always the spark plug. All right, so what I've done here is I've actually cut this spark plug apart and there are some companies out there that make a spark plug uh, cutter so you can actually do that and, and pull them apart and uh, take a look at it. But I do this on a lathe. And so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is, you take this spark plug apart, is the porcelain. Now, what you're looking at the porcelain for at all times is you're looking for a rich, lean condition. Now this is gasoline or E85. Uh, this was in particular a gasoline spark plug. Now people think that if they see white on the porcelain that there must be something wrong. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, this spark plug is actually rich. Uh, so what you're going to be looking at is you get a rich lean condition off of the porcelain and you get a timing off of the strap right there. Now I'll show you that in a second, but right now we're just going to talk about your rich lean condition. So this is rich because you can see that this black line is about middle way up the porcelain. If this was in a really sweet spot, typically you would be at about a hundred thousandths from this bottom ledge right there. Okay, so you'd have a really sharp, nice crisp line about there where my thumbnail is. All right, so the richer the engine is or the more fuel it has in it, the farther up this line is. It keeps on going and going and going and if it was all the way up to the top it's just pig fat rich and it's just you're way down on horsepower but this this spark plug right here is probably you know probably in between five and ten percent too rich is where i would probably start leaning that up at to watch this ring go down now another thing that you can't do is I can do this on the dyno because I make the pole, I shut it right off, I come in, I can take a look at the spark plug. You need to do the same thing at the drag strip or wherever you're at. You can't just idle these things around because as you idle the, th idle the engine around, it pollutes and contaminates this uh, because the idle is always running different. Okay, so your number one thing you wanna do here is rich lean condition is in the porcelain and the farther up that ring, the richer the motor, the farther down the ring, the leaner the motor. If there's no ring there at all and you can't see anything other than just pure white, I'll give it to you, you're lean, all right? And your O2 sensor and gas is probably gonna say, uh, you know, 14 to one, 15 to one, something like that. Uh, just as a reference number, remember, the spark plug tells you everything. All right, so we want that to be about 100 thousandths, about the bottom of my fingernail there, to that base, all right? Now that would be your rich lean condition. Now your timing, what you're looking for on your timing is we look at everything on this strap. Now, if you have way too much timing in something like pretend like in a nitrous motor, they'll start nibbling that edge of those straps up or it'll burn the straps right off of it. That definitely is from being too much timing, which ends up being pre-ignition, detonation, etc. So what you wanna see is this strap, like the spark plug uh, porcelain, and I'll use this as a pointer, if this strap is burned uh, color all the way down to right there, that is typically a nice sweet spot, safe for max timing. If it has got too much timing in it, it'll start burning all the way down into this base thread and this color right here will be all the way down here. And typically if it gets too far, then it starts burning the spark plug strap out here. If it doesn't have enough timing in it, you'll actually see the black line, like this black line. You'll actually see that black line moving up the bend. So if it had a black line or didn't burn, make any heat right there, like at the middle of that bend, 
you're probably short timing like two, four degrees. If it has no heat in it and it's like just barely burned clean at this tip right out here, then we could definitely know that you're way short on timing. You probably need to put like a lot in it. So as you add timing to it, this thing is going, this strap is going to burn cleaner, 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 cleaner. And typically that is a really good spot for peak uh, torque, peak horsepower right there in that range and makes that safe. So remember, number one rule in engine tuning. If your tuner doesn't look at a spark plug, he's not a tuner. He's just a computer guy, all right? Your guy and you need to look at spark plugs. You need to understand what's going on in a combustion chamber and how to read what the engine is telling you all with the spark plug. So I'm Steve Morris, Steve Tech Videos. And we'll be covering some more tuning in other future episodes. And uh, if you have any suggestions on things you want to see uh, and you're a subscriber, please send us a suggestion. I'm Steve Morris. Have a great day.